Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Olaplex products I tried, and I'm also going to just mention what the other products do. This video was inspired by the fact that a new product is coming out from the brand. It's gonna be number eight, and it's gonna be a hair mask finally, which for me is very highly anticipated because I love hair masks, and so far I've been using hair mask from Kerastase, but other than the hair mask, I pretty much moved over to Olaplex, at least for the time being, I really wanted to test out what this brand has to offer, so, I'm very excited to try out the hair mask from them as well. So before we would get into the details of each product, I wanted to talk about the brand itself just really shortly. I personally was completely convinced in my head for whatever reason that Olaplex is owned by L'Oreal and I have no idea why, but apparently they are one of the biggest independent beauty brands on the planet as of right now. They are based in Santa Barbara and they were founded by three people, Dean Crystal, Dr. Craig Hawker and Dr. Eric Presley. And I was reading about this a little bit and Dr. Craig Hawker seems to be a really big name in nanotechnology, biotechnology, microelectronics. So he's pretty much the brain behind the technology that Olaplex uses. I remember when I was younger, I went to my hairdresser and I asked her for treatments to do on my hair and she told me whatever treatment I will decide to go with is going to be temporary because you can't fix the damaged hair, you can just basically put plaster on it. And I think that's why Olaplex is so different because they actually use technology to repair the hair from inside and their products actually promise to fix the damaged hair instead of just putting plaster on it. And I must say that from the reviews online, it seems like it's really working and Olaplex is considered to be the biggest game changer of hair care at least in the decade. They don't have separate products for dry hair, oily hair, normal hair, because they claim that their products will work with every single hair type. Now, like I said, the brand originally had seven steps and they are about to come out with step eight as we speak. Let me just go through the seven steps for you. And then we're gonna talk about the products that I personally use and have experience with. Number one and two are for salon use only. They are called Bond Multiplier and Bond Perfector. Bond Multiplier is going to be mixed together with the hair dye or bleach they use on your hair and it's pretty much going to protect the hair whilst Bond Perfector is going to be applied on the hair after the bleach or hair dye is being rinsed out and it's pretty much going to add back a lot of protein and protect the hair from the chemical process it's been put through. And then comes step number three, which is called Hair Perfector. And I believe that this is the most famous product Olaplex has. This is basically a home version of Bond Perfector that, like I said, they put on in the salon after washing the chemical product out of your hair and they leave it on for 20 minutes. The difference with this one is that you use it before shampooing your hair. You basically need to dampen the hair a bit and then you need to comb through it with, I would say, a teaspoon amount of the hair perfector and leave it on for about 10 minutes. This is how the bottle looks like. This was actually the first product I've ever tried from Olaplex. My hairdresser used it on my hair when I went to have a haircut. He offered a cheaper version to use or this one and I told him let's go with this one because I've always been interested to try it out and well, I must say that it smelled amazing and my hair felt amazing after using it, but he did use it different than it suggested. And I think you just really need to experience with this product and see how it works for you. I went for a haircut, so I didn't have any chemical treatment being done. However, he did notice that my hair is quite damaged, which 
it is unfortunately so he applied this after washing my hair kind of like a conditioner so if you have this already or if you don't want to wait for the mask to come out you can use this one also as kind of like a deep conditioner i have to be honest with you when i'm washing my hair i'm not really that keen on adding water to my hair and then applying this and then waiting 10 minutes and then finally washing my hair. I understand the purpose of it. It's kind of similar to the conditioner I talked about before that I had from Kerastase, where they told you to use the conditioner before the shampoo. So I believe that this one works very similar. It's basically going to protect the hair from whatever damage the shampoo would do. However, this one actually works much better. Like I said in that video, I really strongly dislike that conditioner from Kerastase because it just builds a layer on the hair and it's really hard to wash it off and it weighs down the hair and it's just, I just don't like to use that product at all. My hair doesn't feel good after using it. It maybe protects the hair, but you also want to be able to leave the house after using the product and this one is a beautiful product after you use it you can fully wash it out it's not going to leave any yucky residue on the hair your hair actually going to look better after using it instead of worse so i really like this product and it smells absolutely amazing all of the Olaplex products do except the oil which I believe doesn't have a scent to it but as you can see it's really really small and considering the size of it even though you only need a small amount you will need to buy a new one quite frequently and if you use more than one product from them that can be actually quite pricey so this is a 100 milliliter bottle if you use it once a week which i i don't i have to admit i can't afford to use it once a week so i tend to use it i would say every two three weeks depending on how my hair feels how damaged it feels this way it lasts for about four months for me but when i was using it on a weekly basis i did run out after one and a half months they also have another product by the way one that i almost forgot to mention it's called number zero bond builder and that product is slightly larger it's 105 milliliter the packaging is also different I don't really know why I believe it's because it's more liquidy I haven't personally tried it so I'm not entirely sure but basically based on the description of it it sounds like a primer for number three which just sounds too much for me to be honest I don't really understand if I'm already doing a treatment before my shampooing which normally would be the first step for me why do I now need to do a treatment before the pre-treatment? Like, it just sounds like too many steps, quite honestly. If it's something that we need, why can't we just combine it together with number three? Like, if it has additional vitamins and nutrition that the hair needs, couldn't have they just improved on the formula of number three? I don't really know why do they now feel like we suddenly need a primer for number three? I felt like number three was a primer on its own already. So I don't know too much about that product. Like I said, it's 155 milliliters. So you get slightly more than you get with these other small bottles. The price is the same as with all the other ones, 26 pounds. It does have quite good reviews online so I might give it a try one day just to see how it works because it does make me curious how much it can improve on the performance of number three but on the other hand all of the Olaplex products have really good reviews so number four and five are the shampoo and conditioner and those are two products I don't have and I've never tried because they are 250 milliliters so they are slightly bigger than the other treatments Olaplex does 
However, they are still 26 pounds and you will use significantly more than you would use of these extra treatments. So like I said, that's just too much for me. And quite honestly, I love my bed head shampoo and conditioner. They do absolutely fine for my hair. So I'm not really looking to replace them, especially because those are such big bottles. And I feel like buying such a big shampoo and conditioner takes off a huge burden off your shoulder because you don't need to worry about running out of shampoo and conditioner that often because it's such a big bottle that it's gonna last you for months. So I'm not looking for a replacement of my shampoo and conditioner if I don't have to. And 26 pounds for each of them, that's 52 pounds for the two. And because they are only 250 milliliter, I would probably have to repurchase them on a monthly basis. I'm just not doing that. So I have no experience about the shampoo and conditioner. If you do, please let me know in the comments below because I am really interested in knowing whether they're good or not. I just don't want to spend 52 pounds to find out, to be honest. So now we're moving on to number six, which is called Bond Smoother. And this is basically, it's basically like a hair cream. So I actually replaced my bad head after party hair cream with this one. It's again a hundred milliliter product for 26 pounds. I would say you will need to use roughly the same amount you would use of the hair perfecter. So roughly a teaspoon amount maybe even less because if you use too much of this one, it can weigh the hair down and that's never a good look. So try to use as little as possible, not just because it weighs the hair down, but also because it's so bloody expensive. It's a beautiful product. It smells really, really nice. And it just smooths the hair out. I have to wash my hair quite often because it gets oily, but every time I do, the ends of my hair get really, really dry. And something like this just makes it look and feel so much better. So I really, really love this product. I do sometimes feel like I use too much dough and there's such a fine line between using just the perfect amount or too much. So just try to be careful with it. I also feel like when you start getting to about halfway through the bottle, it becomes increasingly difficult to get the product out because it's such a thick product. Even if you shake it, it doesn't come to the opening. So as you can see, I'm squeezing it quite a lot and I still didn't get to the product. So I don't really know how can you get the rest of the product out. I think as you get to less and less product in the bottle, it's becoming increasingly difficult. Nevertheless, you can use just the tiniest amount of this product and that way it's gonna last you a long time. I'm really hoping it's gonna last for at least six months because like I said, these products are really expensive. So I'm trying to make it last as long as possible and you really wanna avoid overusing it because like I said, it's not gonna look good on the hair otherwise. I actually decided to show you a little bit how it works. So this is the consistency of it, as you can see, it's really, really thick and you pretty much just work it through your hair like this with your fingers. And even if you have some left on your hand, it's gonna absorb. Yeah, it's a really nice product. As you can see, it just tames the hair a bit. It doesn't weigh it down as long as you don't use too much of it and it smells absolutely amazing. And then comes number seven, which is the bonding oil, which is only 30 milliliters. So by far is the smallest one out of the bunch. And it also has a slightly different bottle. Obviously it's a smaller product. I really love this one. And although it's only 30 milliliter, it is an oil. So you're gonna use such little amount. I think this oil will last me for probably like two, three years. It will last you very, very long if you decide to purchase this one. I purchased it as a replacement of my Bumble and Bumble hairdresser's invisible oil. And 
whilst I used to love that one. I had that one for a very, very long time. That one is more expensive than this. That is a 100 milliliter product, but the price is more than 30 pounds. And I feel like this one performs better. That one, used to weigh my hair down and this one doesn't. On the other hand, it might be because this one is harder to get out of the bottle and because of that, you're not gonna use more than you should. So I think they were very clever with this product. Basically, it's like this and if you turn it upside down, you see nothing is coming out. You really have to bounce it on your finger to get some of the product out. And I would say that this amount is perfectly enough for your hair. Like I really work it on my hands and then I just work it through the hair like this. Like I said, this one doesn't have a scent to it and it's a very, very fine oil. Even my hand doesn't feel oily after using it at all, which I'm really, really happy about because for me, the number one reason I tend to avoid using oils is because I hate that oily feeling afterwards. And this oil is amazing. Like it actually absorbs in your hand and it doesn't feel oily after that at all. So I really, really love this oil and I prefer it over other more expensive oils. It's also an amazing heat protector, which is really, really important if you're going to curl or straighten your hair. And let's be honest, most of us do. So you definitely want something that has heat protection in it before you start curling or straightening your hair. And you know, if you're going to use an oil anyway, then you might as well have the heat protection included in it. And like I said, there is going to be a number eight very soon called Bond Intense Moisture Mask. It is also going to be a hundred milliliter for 26 pounds. And it looks like it is going to have a similar bottle to these other 100 milliliter bottles that we already have. However, instead of a squeezy bottle, you are going to have a pump on the top, which makes it actually a lot easier to get out the product. I really wouldn't mind if they would replace these ones as well with the pump because like I said, especially this number six is really, really difficult to get out of the bottle. So I feel like a pump is a really, really good idea. So that's it for today, guys. That's all the Olaplex products we currently have and are going to have in the foreseeable future. Like I said, I only tried three of them. I am very excited about number eight coming out and I might give a try to number zero. I'm not really someone to get my hair coloring or bleaching done in a salon because I find them really, really expensive. I normally just get a haircut done there and I do everything else myself. So I never really had the opportunity yet to try out number one and two and maybe I never will. And as I said, I'm not really keen on spending my money on the shampoo and conditioner they have in the line, but you know, never say never, I might do one day and I might really love them. I do really love these three things I currently have though, especially the hair cream and the oil because those are things that I have been using for years and years and I just replaced my previously used products with these ones. I'm still working on fitting in number three into my hair care routine, but like I said, there are other ways of using it. For example, Kim Kardashian swears by actually leaving it in overnight in her hair. So like I said, you really need to just play with it and find out yourself what works for you the best. Like I said, I have been using it before shampooing my hair, but I probably we'll give it a try and see what it really does if you leave it in overnight. Please do let me know in the comments down below if you tried any of these products and how did you find them, which one is your favorite and if you have any different use for them other than what the instruction says. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. And until next time, take care of yourself. I will see you very soon. Bye.